Hey everybody, Tim and Jordan here for the 8th Star Trek Lower Decks episode, 8 weeks in a row. Can you fucking believe it? Um, Virtus, Virtus, I can never say that word. It's Latin. Yeah. It means truth. Truth! There we go. Insert the, like, little communicator that's actually a translator. So, there we go. Um, what'd you think? Um, overall, I thought this episode was pretty good. I like, I mean, I liked all of them, so. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> um, I didn't. Oh. I would actually say I hated it. I really like this episode was rough for me. Uh, I tried. So for me, <clears throat> so in contrast, like the last episode had a really good plot where like they're trying to get to like the farm and stuff. Oh, right. But there's like Easter eggs hidden in the background. Oh, of all the little characters. Mm -hmm. and the, yeah. 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 So I loved that. This one was too much. Like they were like overly hitting you on the head. But then part of it, I also felt like a lot of Star Trek, as I think we've talked before, doesn't make sense. But it's not supposed to, because it's supposed to be like this overly gobbledygook, like, reverse the neutron flow. And you're like, what does that mean? And I'm like, it doesn't matter what it means. It just means they needed to go backwards. Right. And so, so, like, for, so it's not supposed to make sense. And this whole episode made no sense. And that's kind of like the ending, where they're like, well, what about this? What about that? What about that? It's classified. Go away. I was like, okay. And also, I kind of feel like this episode is what I feel like you would say is like a filler episode. Like, yeah. it just it's just basically, oh, here, let's have little clips from this. Let's have little clips from that. Let's have mm -hmm. little, okay, we'll tie it all in at the end. Okay. Mm. Um, <clears throat> so to kind of start with the beginning, like the whole opening is a Klingon prison. Like, oh, it, it's literally like if you go watch, what is it, Undiscovered Country, like it's literally like the exact Klingon prison. So I was like, okay, whatever. And then to kind of talk about, like, all of the references, where they're talking about Daynar, who is a season three nobody from the next generation. Um, Khan. Khan. I love Khan. He was a space seed. Yeah. Space seed was the name of the episode Khan debuted in. Oh. So I was like, you're literally just, like, saying episode names at this point. Um, I didn't know that, so that's interesting. Okay. <laughs> um, what is it? Where they're like... Uh, I want to. I don't want to go to whatever whatever Mariner says. And she's like, I just want to drink wine at a vineyard and eat soul food at a restaurant. Drink wine at a vineyard is a reference to Picard because mm -hmm. he literally it's the Chateau Picard. And then eating soul food is a reference to Cisco's restaurant in um, New Orleans. No. So it's okay. yeah, it's it's just so many references. Uh, the fan dance. Oh, yeah. um, distracting with the fan dance. What are you doing? You're distracting me. <laughs> Um, that's the, like, the dance that Ahura does also in, Dis no, what was that one? But yeah, Ahura does the exact same fan dance in one of the movies. Um, oh, I don't even remember who it was. But one of the characters was like, Tasha, no, the garbage bag is behind you. That's <laughs> Tasha Yar's death from the mud monster. Like, oh. like the whole thing. It just kept going. I, I did like the Gorn wedding. Oh, like the whole yeah. the whole thing with the Gorn. What did this become about a Gorn wedding? Yeah, what? <laughs> um, so let's see. I don't even remember how many. Let's see. What was Mariner's story? Um, because Rutherford was like he kept like uploading and downloading, and he kept passing yeah. out. Tendy was the cleaner. Which the only thing I liked about the cleaner story was the uh, Andorian, which was the blue alien. Right. Like Andorians are great. Um. That was hers. Was the the story of like being the being mistaken as a cleaner, right? Uh, and then like she's like kicks everybody's ass at the end, and he's like, I don't know. I thought she was just gonna beam us out. Yeah, do your uh, thing. Um, um, and then I don't remember what Meritor's story was. You know, I don't remember either. Like that's it. Was just didn't. I don't remember Boimler's story. I think Boimler was the last one though. Wouldn't he? Because I thought Boimler was the one where he's like, "We're lower decks. We don't get told anything." Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's yeah. he's at the very end where he's like, "Like, there's the salt vampire, which is in the original series." Um, because he's like, "Like, all of our our bridge crew don't know what the fuck they're doing." <laughs> Ransom tried to hit on a salt vampire. Doctor Tana went on the wrong ship, and she's like, "All these ships look the same." <laughs> and I was like, yep. "God damn it!" <clears throat> and like the whole thing, it just kept going. Um, probably my favorite part. Can you guess what my favorite part of the whole episode was? Nope. I'll guess after you tell me. <laughs> my favorite episode, my favorite part is Q. Look. Oh my goodness, yes. 
There's us and John Delancey, because I'm a huge John Delancey fan. I forgot about Q's appearance, yes. And it, it's great, because, like, he turns them into chess pieces and stuff. At first, I didn't think, no, it was John Delancey. I was like, it sounds like him, but I don't think it is. And then as it kept going, I was like, oh, no, that's that's definitely John Delancey. You're going to play chess against a deck of cards with a soccer ball. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Figure out my riddle. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And it's just, I love John Delancey's character so much. Like, that's the thing. Like, he fit so well in The Next Generation he was only in one episode of Deep Space Nine, but he was great. And then he was in three episodes of Voyager, which he was fantastic in Voyager, because he kept trying to sleep with Janeway. No. Um, oh, that is true, yeah. And then, like, he wasn't in Enterprise. He wasn't in... Or he has not yet been in Discovery, and I seriously doubt he's in Picard. But, like, Discovery and Picard are so, like, serious and dark and edgy. Like... Q wouldn't necessarily fit in in one of those episodes oh. because that's the thing is like the original Star Trek original like the next generation 90s Star Trek was kind of lighthearted like it had its serious moments but then you would watch episodes where it was so dumb and so lighthearted like here let's have a whole episode of Data as Sherlock and like it didn't all have to be about the Borg and stuff and so I was like oh, okay but like to see Q pop in this I was so happy. Like, it made my whole day. Yeah, I thought it was pretty cute. Um, and then the big twist. What a twist! It's not a trial. It's, yeah. It's, it's them at, like, a... Congratulating their head officers on... Yeah. Yeah. It is an honor to be in this beam of light. Yeah. And then, like, the, the eel thing. Even Tendy's like, so if this was just all, like, a congratulations, why yes. were you why were you putting us in eels and fire? Shh, we don't we don't question other, like, you know, like, yeah. worms traditions. <laughs> like, like, that's the whole thing where I was like, you know, it's it's trying really hard to, like, throw you off. And, like, that's what I didn't like. Like, I I like a good twist, but this was this was a bad twist. A bad twist. And then, like, I think it's Boimler and Mariner. And then, like, okay, so then why did we have to go to the neutral zone? So then why, how did we even get that bird of prey? Okay, mm -hmm. you know what? It's classified. This is why we don't tell you stuff. Bye bye Yeah. And it's like, but what? Wh what? Yeah. <laughs> like, this whole episode made no sense whatsoever. And I, But again, I feel like it's more of one of those filler episodes where I feel like maybe it's something that's going to come back later on. And it could, hopefully. So. I mean, I did, like, little parts of it, but... Like, I, I did, like, run for like, how he kept crashing and waking up. Yeah. How did we get to the Gorn wedding? Because I just like Gorn. Gorns are, Gorns are cute. <laughs> and they're, they they were the old Gorn. They weren't the new Gorn. Because um, the only time we saw Gorn was in the inner, the original Star Trek TV show. Okay. I mean, even you've probably seen that one, where it's, like, Kirk fighting and everything. And then we don't see them again until, like, Enterprise 40 years later. And they're all, like, CGI now. Yep. And they look more like a lizard. Um... But yeah, I don't know. It just it didn't work for me as much. I feel like we we get a because what was the episode? Oh, the episode two episodes ago, it was the Badgy episode. Oh, Badgy. And I was like, I don't know about this. And then we had the last one, which was phenomenal. I loved the last one. And then we get this one, so I feel like we're in like this this little <laughs> loop thing, a roller coaster. Yeah, it's a roller coaster of emotions. Uh, but we only have two episodes left. Oh, I know. Which, if it keeps going in this pattern, next oh next week I'll love it, and then the last episode I'll hate it. Oh, and then they're not going to get any more viewers. That's going to suck. Hopefully oh. it's a good episode. Hopefully they leave us on a cliffhanger, so it's like a really good episode. It's two, it's two good episodes at once. Yeah. Well, they, they've already like ordered two seasons, so even after this season, they're going to get ten more episodes regardless. Oh, like, okay. It's, it's so, done. It's paid with. It's done. It's I paid feel like they can do so much with it at this point. Like They have so many like little things that they hint to, and then they just never talk about it again. So. Yeah. Like I still, what's going on with Mariner and Ransom? No, oh, and his yeah. photon torpedoes. Yes, photon torpedoes. Um, yeah. Any other closing thoughts for this episode? No like, closing thoughts for. Today. Like I said, the whole it was it was too many references even for me. Like they even bring up the stupid like, like do you remember that planet where Doctor Crusher fell in love with the ghost on the the Irish planet? Or Scottish, whatever her ancestry is. Mm. Um, it's like that's like one of the worst episodes ever. Um. <laughs> like for me it was too many so like did you catch that they were making a bunch or were you just like i don't know what's happening but it's great uh unfortunately as much star trek that i've like popped in and watched you like watch on the screen or whatever <laughs> um i don't know that much so little kind of like shout outs to that coming from someone who's just watching this i don't get all those little 
like shout out so it's kind of funny to watch it from my pointer's perspective where i'm just like okay i'm watching it because all this stuff is funny and i like what's going on in this episode where you're focused on like oh that's the episode that con was in or that's this mm. or that's that and so, so it's funny because then i'm getting distracted but you're able to just yeah and coast. so i feel like we kind of have that perfect balance where i'm i'm all interested in the new stuff but you're like oh my god that's such a rip off from the old stuff yes. like so it kind of has that good mix okay um would you have at least caught that it was q Besides oh, the fact that they said it was Q. I was like, I know it would be Q because they instantly mentioned that it was Q. <laughs> which I that's I, I like at towards the end of it when they come back on the Cerritos and everything, Q actually shows up and Mariner's mm-hmm. like, Not today, Q, not today. Which just like No bullshit today. Yeah, just pushes up aside and just keeps on walking. Go go talk to Picard. All all he wants to do is drink wine. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, it's great. And all he does is quote Shakespeare. Yeah, he just <laughs> drinks wine and quotes Shakespeare. Which like so this episode or this TV show takes place like shortly after Voyager. So I mean that would have been right after like the death of Data. Oh, that's sad. So no. Yeah. At least I think so. Yeah, somewhere in there. Um, anyways, um, okay. Any other closing thoughts? Mm-hmm. Are you you're eight weeks in, we've done it for two months. Are you excited for the last two episodes? Yeah, I would say. Like I said, I'm really hoping if, like, the pattern goes, hopefully the last one does end on a good episode. So. Mm, me too. Um, okay. So, for those who have seen it, like, how many references, like, like I said, there were a million of them in this one. I didn't even write them all down. So, <laughs> let me know which ones you guys caught. Uh, what do you guys think about the show so far? And we will see you guys next Thursday.